Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. More danger for Americans. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Over the weekend, President Obama attended the G7 summit in Germany. Topics of conversation range from economics to terrorism. By the way, it used to be the G8, but Russia got booted out because of Putin the invader. Anyway, earlier today, Mr. Obama said something that's not only frightening, but incredibly disturbing. He was asked about ISIS and why the USA does not have a strategy to stop the brutal jihadists. When uh, a finalized plan is presented to me by the Pentagon, then I will share it with the American people. It's not, uh, I, we don't yet have uh, a, uh, a complete strategy because it requires commitments on the part of the Iraqis as well. The details of that are, are not yet worked out. So after nearly two years, the USA still does not have a plan to confront ISIS. Here's what the president said last August. We don't have a strategy yet. I think uh, what I've seen in, in some of the uh, uh, news reports uh, suggests that uh, folks are getting a little further ahead uh, of where we're at uh, than we currently are. I was right after the beheading of an American citizen by ISIS. Now, there are only two possible scenarios here, two. First, that the U.S. military is grossly incompetent and can't come up with a plan to defeat a terror group comprised of about 30,000 individuals. Or two, that the President of the United States lacks the will to defeat an enemy that threatens every American. Talking Points is throwing in with option number two. Mr. Obama simply does not see the urgency and does not have the fire to take on terrorists who are slaughtering thousands of innocent people. That's the truth. And sadly, millions of Americans are willing to accept that fact and still support the president. If every American demanded the USA become proactive once again in defeating the jihad, then it would happen. But many of us are apathetic. As long as the mass murder is overseas, we don't care. Of course, it won't be long until the murder comes here, because that's the stated goal of ISIS. On another front, the Chinese government has been accused of hacking into websites of the U.S. federal government. Apparently, more than four million Americans have had their personal data stolen by the Chinese. Today, Mr. Obama was asked about that. We haven't publicly uh, uh, unveiled who we think may have engaged in these uh, cyber attacks. But I can tell you that we have known for a long time that there are significant vulnerabilities and that these vulnerabilities are going to accelerate as time goes by. So what are you going to do about it, Mr. President? I guess in a couple of years, he might come up with a strategy. I think everybody's getting a picture here. We have a leader who doesn't want to lead. Barack Obama is interested in the theoretical dilemma of climate change. He's interested in social justice, in redistributing American wealth. Not much interested in blatant attacks on America's security and mass murder around the world. It appears to me that Barack Obama is not going to change. So this country is now in a race to see if we can avoid catastrophe in the next 18 months. A very dangerous game. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight.